know what the funny part is, don't you? At least you should. And Gano could have stopped Tyson Fury. Right after that knockdown, if he'd have stalked him, if he'd have known what to look for, if Ngannou had enough experience. See, after that, Fury didn't want no contact. And if you look at that hit, not only that, he sent Fury flying to the canvas after that hook. He sent him flying to the canvas. But anyways, if you look at it, he hit him right on the side of the temple. Okay? When you look at Fury's face, when he hit that canvas, you could tell he holding his composure. But in the back of them eyes, you see what's real. He was like, oh, shit. And when he got up, he didn't want no contact after that. That's why he started striking and jiving after that. You know what I'm saying? Like Fury do. Like I said, if Ngano knew what to look for, he would have known that he had him. And he should have stocked him after that. Once again, he thought Ngano just showed up for a check. That man came to win. That's where he underestimated him. He thought he's just happy to get the big payday. Because, you know, he a UFC fighter. He ain't used to... You know what I'm saying? Getting no big money or nothing like that. He just happy to be here kind of thing. No, that man came to win. And he did win. But the funny part is, on top of that, he could have got you out of there. So now what do you got to say to the number one? And check this, because I don't remember another time, unless you can tell me, that a heavyweight ended up on the pound for pound list as number one or whatever and whatnot. First time I've seen it, been Fury all together. So... Once again, this is one of those things of putting all your chips on this one guy and doing all that. You need to spread it out in boxing. I'm going to digress. But when you give them that much praise and you put them up that high and when they fall, guess what? All those accolades and praise and this, this, and that and boxing got to go down with them. What you expect every time y'all do this crap. But to add on top of that, don't knock Fury too hard now. Don't, don't knock him too hard Let's not act like Fury don't belong where he's at. You know, not so high as far as the alkylates and stuff, but Fury is still a good competitor. Once again, something I told you about Tyson Fury. It's one of the reasons why when you count him out, he rises to the occasion. Fury has to be up for a fight. Okay? Fury has to be in the feeling that the whole world is against him. Fury has to feel that he's coming from a place of hell. That's when Fury performs his best. That's when he pulls out his best. Just pay attention. Okay. In this fight and all this stuff, Fury's coming from a place of power, position, luxury. He got a TV show on Netflix. He got this. He got a best bookseller. He this and that. Fury came and did it all. He came and did it all. So he's not coming from the same place. So is he up for it like he was up for the Wilder fights and all that? No. He wasn't. Nonetheless. But Tyson's Fury goal was to pimp the situation that came out of fighting Wilder. Can't blame him. You know. But he pimped it to us like he's always have done. Like I said... The ultimate hustler in boxing. You got to give him that. You at least got to give him that. The ultimate hustler in boxing. Period. One of the last boxers to understand the art form of skullduggery. Talking, putting on, charming the crowd, giving the people what they want. Propaganda. Fake outbursts. Tweets. This, this, that, the third. Rants. This, this. He's a master. Give it to him. But the truth of the matter is, when all those props and all that stuff come with that, and when they get exposed like this, now everybody's scratching their head like, what's going on in boxing? So what? Now do Francis Ngadu got to fight uh, Alexander Uzik? Is there a rematch? Uh, what does this mean for boxing? Uh, what is it? That's what I'm saying. I'm not down for anything that don't progress the sport. That's what I'm saying. Canelo, Charlo... Where does that leave us? What does that help? What does that improve? What does it prove? Absolutely nothing. It's just treading water. Wasting time. For not giving us the stuff that we supposed to see and want to see. Once again, look at Pete Charlo. Canelo. When it should have been Benavidez. Canelo. Pete. Tyson Fury. Ngannou, 
when it should have been Tyson Fury, Uzik, you know that. You know that. And now they sit up here talking about, oh, you know, it may not be ready. I told y'all this. Didn't I tell y'all this? I told y'all it's just bull, it's just bullshit propaganda to get y'all to go watch the fight so you can look forward to a oozing fight just to make sure that they don't lose your interest for not giving you the fight that you're supposed to have. This is why you do not reward bad behavior. Why are they gonna keep giving you the same BS? And now everybody looking at boxing at what? Hey, look, and that gave UFC the one up. They won it. This UFC box art, which I don't understand because it's stupid. You know what I'm saying? Boxing is in every combat system. So, you know what I'm saying? I never understood UFC and versus boxing. But anyways, yeah, that gives them the one up. It does. The rivalry that they always been wanting. And <laughs> you know what? I'm actually going to say this next part <laughs> for another video. Like I said, it's a lot I could talk about it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. See me on the next one.